This place is probably the most friendliest place that I've, I've been to. We all get to socialize and catch up. It's usually I come here in the morning and I feel like the world is full of challenging questions. And then I leave from here and we have it all sorted. So uh, when it came to designing the space, we decided it was really important to bring people together who were going to use that space. So we asked for some volunteers from across the school and we brought together a group of teachers. And what we started with was the belief. How would the space be used? What did we believe about learning? And uh, this philosophy statement came together really quite easily and quite quickly. And as you review that uh, philosophy statement, you'll see some really key words in there. There are words like collaboration, um, connection, community, uh, the fact that we wanted to bring together or connect our multilingual community. Um, we talked about inquiry, how do you foster uh, inquiry? And all these things that are so important in our program and we wanted this space to facilitate that type of learning. But more importantly, I think most importantly, it really had to be the centre of our school, the hub for learning in the school. These days in libraries it's much more of a collaborative space so what we look for here is students that are excited about coming into the space, they're excited about being together and learning together and then the library resources, the books, the videos, the, all the things that we have to offer just are a, a real stimulation for that collaboration, that discussion. So it becomes uh, something that is uh, a place that is uh, about interactions and it's about connecting and part of all of that the outcome is that we we get learning so I remember us looking at uh, research and uh, looking at what current you know the research was saying around what current learning spaces can look like and that how there's been a shift from traditional tight quiet libraries to more of a learning collaborative type mm. of space. Collaboration was very important mm. when we were brainstorming and when we were looking at these new ideas mm. which could fit us to, to see which direction we wanted to take. Yeah, that was really intentional, wasn't it? Mm. We wanted to break down that concept of a library mm -hmm. and, and by breaking down that concept we were able to and calling it something, calling it something other than a library. Yeah. We kind of had to let go of a lot of the things mm -hmm. that we already knew or thought about a library. The commons area is being a place that we can come together mm -hmm. and to collaborate. And it's mm -hmm. not just it's from the littlest to the to the oldest to the to the whole community. That it's you know the yeah. adults as well yeah. who spend time in here. That it's a common place that, that people can come to learn and inquire. And it's got a real community sense to it. Mm. it really I does. think it's a it's mm. a nice and, and when you think about some of those moments of people coming together or mm. uh, connections that are made here, mm -hmm. it is like a commons in a community, That's right. mm -hmm. isn't it? It's yeah. that space of people just you know, stop yeah. having a coffee and making connections that otherwise might not have happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. if we didn't have the space. Students, parents, teachers, community members, they all come all at different times throughout the day and I think that's a very good sign of a healthy community where you get just a natural mix of students and, and adults in their space um, feeling comfortable, feeling that they don't have to be worried about whether um, uh, they're breaking some kind of library etiquette that might be something that they remember from older libraries, that they can feel relaxed and that they can be themselves um, in, within this space. I think there are, there are physical things that are set up in this space that make it unique as well. Having the cafe does communicate very clearly to, to our community that um, we're looking for a, a, a more of a, a relaxed and open and conversational space where people interact and connect. It's a really friendly place and it's a way for people to, to, to meet each other, especially for new parents and, and new people to the school. It's a great way to, to get yourself and people are so friendly. And the coffee is good. Mm -hmm. Coffee is good. I like the community thinking. I always meet uh, the different parents here in the morning. Kind of the only day, time of the day where I can uh, sit down and talk with random people and learn and share. So I guess learning and sharing is two of the things that I enjoy the most and the coffee. Uh, 
Kunmichai is a person who's contributed just an enormous amount to NIST over the years. And so we're very proud to have his name on a building here at school. And if we think about the type of learning that we want to see in this space, it makes us think of Kunmichai. So when we have in our philosophy statement, for instance, words like provoke inquiry, uh, extend curiosity, uh, and enrich imagination, the other sorts of things that we've seen uh, could meet I display and value o over the years and um, so our sincere hope is it's that type of learning that takes place within that space. I'm always grateful when I come here. Um, I think his spirit of education and learning uh, and sharing has, has really come through this room and the way he has made it playful, inclusive, welcoming for all of us, it's been uh, true inspirational. I really want to thank Kunmi Chai and his family. They have done such a big job and to improve NIST as a community. What I could say to Kunmi Chai is thank you very much because he's done so many things for NIST and for Thailand. Also thank Naluk Nu because she's helped us in so many ways throughout the years in our learning and opportunities. I believe in giving back to the society and I also believe in NICE. I believe in education at NICE. That's why I enroll my kids here. I believe that NICE can make my kids into something that I think they can achieve. That's why I start thinking of investing in education and where else but my kids own school. I really like that there are many books and there are many places that we could go. You can find anything you want, any book you want, and it's just amazing. It's very cozy and everyone's quiet and I could like just read. My favorite part about the MLC is that it's so quiet and you can see like basically everybody here. They have a lot of books to choose from and a lot of genres and they also have other activities. I like to be here because um, it's a nice place to be quiet and be with your child, read a book and have a nice coffee and meet a lot of other mothers to chit chat. Oh, 呃，等两个孙子孙女来，我们一起回家。Ich komme gerne hierhin, weil es eine freundliche Atmosphäre ist. Es hat eine lockere Atmosphäre, nicht die nicht die Atmosphäre einer sturen Bibliothek. Adventures, calm, awesome, organized, friendly, explorative, fun. We want to build a community around our students that supports and, and provokes and inspires them um, and leads to learning. And to do that, we'll continue to, to look at ways that we can change. The, uh, it might be the furnishings, it might be the way the shelves are organised, it might be uh, the different ways that we have scheduling. We're looking, just looking for way, different ways to continue to evolve and, and develop that sense of community. And it's not just community for community's sake, this is a learning community. So we're looking at how do we bring that community around the students so that learning happens.